Hello, hi, Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera to all my lovely girls. I hope you all in good condition, emotionally and physically stable. Okay, so for today, we are going to learn the new chapter, ya, chapter 14, support and movement in humans and animals. Okay, so this is second last chapter, ya, second last chapter in form 4. Alright, so in this chapter 14, there are four subtopics. There are four subtopics. For today, we are going to learn uh, 14.1, yeah, types of skeleton. Yeah, types of skeleton. Okay, please open your textbook yeah, and go to the page 266. Alright, okay. So, uh, look at the learning standards that you have to cover for today. Yeah, number one, list the types of the skeleton in humans and animals. All right? So there are three types of the skeleton. Hydrostatic skeleton, exoskeleton, and endoskeleton. Yeah, then number two, justify the necessity of skeletons in humans and animals. Okay, so these are referred to the two learning standards of the 14.1 types of skeleton. Okay, so now we go to the types of the skeleton. Okay, the skeletal system provides support to the human and animals. Okay, there are three types of the skeleton. There are three types of the skeleton of the organism. Okay, which are exoskeleton, endoskeleton, and hydrostatic skeleton. Okay, you should know the example yeah, the example of the animals that have the exoskeleton endoskeleton and also hydrostatic skeleton okay the example of the animals that have the exoskeleton such as insect crustacean okay and the example of the endoskeleton you can uh, give any example as long as yeah as long as the animals have the backbone yeah, have the backbone, okay, uh, which is endo refer to the uh, bone that inside the body, all right, okay, such as horse, elephant, yeah, the tiger, and so on, okay. How what about the hydrostatic skeleton? Yeah, hydrostatic skeleton refer to the animals with the soft tissue, yeah, animals with the soft tissue okay yeah? animals with the soft tissue such as earthworm and caterpillar all right okay so uh, all this type of the skeletons yeah, is very important yeah it's very important for them yeah for the animals yeah, that provide the support yeah support and also enable them to move yeah enable them to move for, for what for survival all right okay so that is referred to the necessity of the skeletal system yeah, in the animals and humans so what uh, what is the necessity it is important to provide support yeah, to the humans and animals and also enable them to move for survival all right, okay, next we go to the 14.2, yeah, the second subtopic in the chapter 14, yeah, so which is referred to the musculoskeletal systems of humans. So we are going to learn yeah, the musculoskeletal system. So what is the musculoskeletal system? They consist of the muscle, the bone, yeah, the ligament, yeah, the joint, all right, and also the tendon, right? Okay, so all of this will make up the musculoskeletal systems. Okay, so they are yeah, cooperate together in the system to enable us to move, right? Enable us to move. Okay, so this is referred to the musculoskeletal systems of human. Okay, so now uh, let's take a look on the learning standards. Okay, learning standards of uh, for today in 14.2. 
Okay, pupils are able to, number one, identify bones that form the human skeletal system okay, that are divided into axial skeleton and appendicular skeleton. Okay, so uh, this is referred to the uh, learning standards that we are going to cover uh, for today in 14.2. Alright, okay. Now, we go to the skeletal system of the human. Okay, so the skeletal system of the human is made up of the axial skeleton and appendicular skeleton. Okay, you should know that our skeletal system can be divided into uh, axial skeleton and appendicular skeleton. Okay, axial skeleton refer to the uh, skull yeah so refer to the skull here yeah, so this is referred to the skull the vertebral column okay or uh, the backbone yeah the backbone we call as vertebral column starting from here until here so this is our vertebral column and then uh, con uh, consists of the ribs okay so this is our ribs yeah ribs and also sternum okay so i repeat axial skeleton consists of skull yes okay, skull the vertebral column here yeah, this is referred to the vertebral column the ribs here okay and also the sternum yeah okay so these are referred to the parts of the axial skeleton yeah, and the parts of the axial skeleton. Okay, so what about the appendicular skeleton? Okay, appendicular skeleton, yeah, appendicular, uh, appendicular skeleton includes, okay, includes the pectoral girdle. Okay, yeah, so this is our pectoral girdle. Okay, yeah, pectoral girdle. And then, okay, uh, the pelvic girdle here. So this is our pelvic girdle. Okay, here uh, this is our pelvic girdle okay and then consists of the upper limb okay yeah, upper limb here starting from the humerus until the phalanges okay yeah, upper limb so this is our upper limb and lower limb here okay lower limb okay yeah, so appendicular skeleton consists of pectoral girdle here and then pelvic girdle here and upper limb here. Okay, both of these are upper limb and lower limb here. Okay, both of these are lower limb. Okay, so you should know that skeletal system can be divided into two types. Yeah, axial skeleton and appendicular skeleton. Okay, axial skeleton refer to the skeleton at the center of the human body. Yeah, at the center. Okay, that consists of the skull. Yeah, consists of the skull, a vertebrae column. Okay, and ribs. Okay, ribs here and sternum here. Okay, so these are refer to the uh, axial skeleton. Okay, and uh, appendicular skeleton. Okay, appendicular skeleton refer to the side skeleton. Yeah, the side skeleton. Yes, of our body that consists of the pectoral girdle. Okay, pectoral girdle here, and then uh, pelvic girdle here. Okay, pelvic girdle, upper limb here. Yeah, upper limb and lower limb. Okay, yeah, lower limb here. Yeah. Okay, so these are referred to the appendicular skeleton. Okay, and then next, you have to remember. Yeah, you have to memorize. Uh, memorize all the skeletons. Yeah, all the skeletons that make the skeletal system. Okay, you have to memorize all the bones or the skeleton yeah in our skeletal system okay starting from okay so this is referred to the skull 
Yeah, so skull. Alright, so this is referred to the sternum and ribs here. Okay, ribs. And this is referred to the vertebral column. Vertebral column. Okay, vertebral column. And then, okay, so we go to the side skeleton. So this is the clavicle. Yeah, clavicle. Vehicle. So this is clavicle. So this is referred to the scapula. Yes, yeah, scapula. Okay, so both uh, skeleton will make the pectoral girdle. And then we go to the next skeleton, which is humerus. Okay, so this is our humerus. Okay, and this one refer to the ulna. Okay, ulna. And this is referred to the radius. Yeah, ulna and radius here. Then carpus here and metacarpals here. Yeah, metacarpals here. And this is referred to the phalanges. Yeah, phalanges. Okay, I repeat. Starting from here, this is referred to the clavicle, scapula, humerus, ulna, radius, carpus metacarpals and phalanges okay next we go to the lower limb okay we go to the lower part of the body so this is referred to the ilium okay yeah, ilium here so this is referred to the ilium then pubis here okay yeah, pubis and ischium adult okay next we go to the next, uh, to the lower part of the pelvic girdle, which consists of the femur. Okay, so this is referred to the femur. Then patella here. Yeah, patella. And this is referred to the tibia. Yeah, tibia. And this is referred to the fibula. Yeah, tibia. Here, the bigger one, yeah, the bigger one is tibia, okay, and the thinner one is fibula. Then, this is tarsals, metatarsals, and phalanges, okay. So, you should memorize all the skeleton, yeah, all the skeleton, starting from the skull to the phalanges, yeah, of the lower limb. Okay, so all of this uh, skeleton will make up the skeletal system. Alright, okay, so that is referred to the skeletal system of human. Okay, so make sure you can pronounce and spell it correctly. Yeah? All the terms, yeah? All the name of the bones, yeah? all the name of the bones starting from the skull to the phalanges. Okay, make sure you can pronounce it. Okay, and you can memorize, yeah, memorize the bones, yeah, all the bones. Okay, please practice from now. Yeah, please practice from now. I try to speak it out, yeah, speak it out loudly and try to pronounce it correctly and also uh, spell it correctly okay so that's all for today i hope you can understand the 14.1 types of the skeletons and also the 14.2 uh, musculoskeletal system of human that uh, refer to the skeletal system yeah? skeletal system of the human that can be divided into axial skeleton and appendicular skeleton okay so you have to memorize the parts yeah, or the uh, bones that uh, make up the axial skeleton and also the appendicular skeleton okay so that's all for now i hope you can read again and again try to understand and please memorize yeah the skeletal system of human okay thank you girls okay stay safe take care everyone